Hi there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at potentially, possibly, maybe the best filter out there or not quite out there on the market yet. I have taken a good look at this thing which is too big to keep out of the shot and um, I'm very impressed with it. In fact, I'm so impressed with it and because it was sent to me by Aqua L, free of charge, to show you guys, I'm going to give it away to a lucky viewer before Christmas. And whilst that fills me, on the one hand, with joy, because I love giving stuff away, as you know, it's going to cost me a fortune to fill this thing up with filter media. It takes a lot of filter media, and it is going to come out to one of you guys full of filter media, fully pimped up and in time for Christmas. How about that? So enough of the preamble. What are you talking about, Baldi? Well, I'm talking about this monster from Aqua L. <laughs> the Hypermax 4500. In all its glory, what a beast. Oh. So there we have it, look at that. That's the business end of it. Absolute monster, I mean, you see how big it is compared to my hand, it's gigantic. And if you notice, we've got two inlets and two outlets. So you can draw from two different places in your tank at once. And also you can blow the water back out to two different places as well to reduce or eliminate any dead spots. And on the top here, obviously we've got the two inlets, two outlets, but we've also got a flow adjuster here. So that's your on off button, flow down, flow up. And the pump that sits in here will shift 4,500 liters per hour, which is approximately 1,188 US gallons per hour. A proper powerhouse. Also on the top here, we've got the priming lever, which is very smooth, very easy to operate, and that is not going to break. And then under here, we've got a pre-filter, which we get into by undoing some of these clips. One. Two. Three. Plus a little secret one here. And that allows us to get into the pre-filter and remove the pretty big pre-filter foam. And then inside of here, you can see where the water comes in on the top right or the right hand side of your screen there. It'll swirl around in the bottom, it'll come up through the foam and then it'll bleed out over the top and go through this hole and I'll show you where it goes after that. Just drop that back in and I'll just quickly show you something on the bottom of this removable pre-filter tray. Oh, if you can see it. Let's get the light on them again. That thing in the middle of the screen is like a non-return valve. So when you lift this out, the vast majority of muck that's retained in here will not drip out onto your floor. That's a good idea. Something very similar that we saw in the uh, Oase Biomaster filters. And that foam in there is very coarse. It is 10 ppi. Now bear in mind I'm doing this one handed just to demonstrate how easy it is. But this is how easy it is to put this lot back together. As you can hear, they are very substantial, big, solid clips. And that's it. Solid again. So that's the features of the top explained. I'll just take this off and I'll show you what it's like underneath here, where the pump head is. So we've got two clips there, two clips there, one clip either side there, so if you're keeping count, 
that's six clips so far and then we've got one of those little secret clips on this side and one on the other side that we saw before so there's eight clips in total to keep this huge pump head on and when I say huge pump head I do mean huge pump head but bear in mind that part of this does contain the pre-filter from the pre-filter the water comes down here down this square hole which as you can see is a big square hole minimal resistance there for the water it then will go all the way down here which I'll show you in a second to the bottom of the filter rise up and then be drawn out by this big chunky pump and blown out to the tank yeah that's where the water goes down through this big solid uh, square-ish tube all the way down the bottom. Here the Aqua L literature will tell you that there's four trays but in reality there's five trays. Unfortunately the top one will take some of that pump head inside it so effectively we've got four and a half usable trays in here. And as you can see, they are very big. As you may have noticed, I've already filled one of them up with some Bio Home Ultimate just to see how much I could get in, which I'll reveal in a minute. And I've also put something else in as well. But now we, I should have maybe emptied all these out. Basically, basically, when they come from the manufacturer, you have two foams in them. One is 20 ppi, which is somewhere between coarse and medium, and the other one is 30 ppi, which is most definitely medium. So that's similar grade to the ones that I sell on the Filter Pro website. We don't need them quite that big, but it's good that they do at least put something into the trays. And even as far as the biological side of things go, that, as a biological media, does have a lot of surface area. So if you just wanted to fill one of these with foams, it's not a problem, you know, you, you get that option. You also get the option to purchase various filter medias from Aqua L, which you can use to fill all these trays up. I am going to fill it up with Bio Home Ultimate because that's my thing. And I'll show you how I personally would set this particular filter up. Filter works bottom to top, bottom tray, I would have a medium grade foam in there with all its bumpy bits facing down and that I would top that off with a decent quality fine pad. I'll catch all the fine muck before the water travels up into your filter media. Four trays remaining. I would go three trays, Bio Home Ultimate, and you can get 2.8 kilos of media very easily into there, possibly as much as three if you shook it down and packed it in a little bit neater. I've just put it in loose there. As in the US, 2.8 kilos is roughly 6.16 pounds. So there's going to be three trays of that. That makes a total of roughly well, give or take 8.5 kilos. You could easily get 8.5 kilos between the three trays, which is 18.48 pounds. Our filter is capable of holding 8.5 kilos of media, and that's before we get the top tray filled, which can't be filled all the way because of what I'll show you in a second. The trays, they are well made you know it, it's as good as you want them to be made nice and solid it's not cheap plastic it's a sensible thickness as well for those little handles and they fit very well into there you know there's very little but well, there's no spare space I was gonna say there's very little space around them but they're just next to nothing next to nothing Great use of space. 
last one in well our last media tray and then we've got this top tray I think that's in the trays actually sit quite a long way into each other so while you might think oh I've got five trays that do sit you know probably about that far into each other which does reduce the available space but having said that you've got probably at least 10 inches by 10 inches of space for your media uh, which is about 25 centimeters square it is the underneath of our pump head and that is our top tray hopefully the big pipe that feeds out from the pump and also the pump head takes up quite a lot of space in here it's quite difficult to see that on this viewfinder so hopefully you guys can appreciate that i would say it's probably taken up about 30 percent of this top tray it is not lost because we can put more media into that top tray just put that off to the side there that is a one kilo bag of bio gravel in a mesh bag just drop that in there And these are two 250 gram bags of bio gravel. Oh, I better give you uh, that in pounds and whatever's for you guys in the US. Yeah, so one kilo. So one kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds. 250 grams for each of these bags is, well, together, put it in the wrong way. <laughs> There is a specific way to get this in. I don't think that's right either, is it? Mm, yeah, that's still not it. That looks more like it. That's it. That's it. So we can easily get another kilo and a half of media into that top tree, as you can see there. And because it's in the mesh bags, there's no danger of it being sucked up into the pump. If we had loose media in here, well, for one, it would be a real fart on trying to get this head on. And also, there is the small chance that if you bumped it, you might get a piece of media get sucked up into the pump with it being such a powerful pump. Goes in. Actually, I'm pressing down on that, and where I've put the media into the tray underneath, there's a little bit of give. You could probably get some more media in there. So the figures that I'm given are oh, on the lower end of what you can get into this thing. The head goes back on. I love, I love the way that sounded. That just sounded nice, like boom. There is a big thick seal around the underside of that as well, which is definitely going to ensure that this thing does not leak. Actually, it's the same to here as well. There's a lovely thick orange seal goes all the way around there. That seems to be an upgrade from the Ultramax 2000, which we took a look at in a previous video from Aqua L. That seems to fit exceptionally well. Very snug, very secure. No chance of leaks. And with all these clips on, there's no chance of this head coming off either. There you go. Never be foolhardy enough to want to carry this thing around anywhere. It's got little handles under there, which are part of the main body. And as you can tell from my voice, I'm straining a little bit because it's a hell of a weight. <laughs> ah. Luckily, got good wheels on the bottom so if you've got a vinyl floor or tiles or something you can just wheel this thing to where you need to take it here are a few facts and figures about what this will hold what it pumps and so on but uh, we'll just go through a few more before I give you my thoughts on this particular filter so the pump only consumes between 18 and 36 watts and that is variable because obviously the output 
and there, therefore the input of the pump is variable. If you're knocking it up or down, it will in turn reduce the watts that it's pulling from your electric supply. supply. That plugs into a transformer which takes your mains voltage down to 24 volts. So the pump runs on 24 volts, which is ultra safe. If you ever, I don't know, fell out with your partner and he or she smashed the top up with a hammer, water started coming out and you touched it, you're only going to get zapped by 24 volts, which is nothing. I've been, uh, well, thousands of volts and I, I, let me tell you, it hurts. 24 volts, that's nothing. The noise of this filter is rated at between 24 to 44 decibels and again that's variable because the output of the pump is variable. The harder the pump's working, the noisier it is. The more you knock it down to its lower levels, the quieter it is. As before, but with regard to the foams, they run from 10 ppi in the pre-filter to 20 ppi in the bottom to 30 ppi in the next one up as it comes from the manufacturer. So the muck that's being dragged in from the tank is getting graded out in a sensible manner. The capacity of this as far as the filter media goes is give or take about 10 kilos possibly more depending on how you pack it in which is 22 pounds. Aqua L rather pessimistically rates this filter uh, for tanks between 200 and 1500 litres or 50 to 400 US gallons. Now I can I can understand the 1500 because it's a huge filter, it holds a hell of a lot of media and companies do tend to go over the top with their recommendations especially if this is operating on a, a lightly stocked, well planted, well landscaped tank 1500 litres isn't going to be a problem for this but that isn't most people's tanks. Um, with the media that we've got in here, 10 kilos of the Biohome Ultimate, my personal recommendation is for tanks between 500 litres to 1000 litres or 131 US gallons to 263 US gallons. Now the lower end of those figures would be if you had a heavy stock like discus, predatory fish, big cichlids, uh, you know just a, a big heavy stock of fish, goldfish, uh, marine all of that would be classed as heavy stock, so those lower figures would relate to that. The higher figures would relate to a normally stocked tank. Your standard community tank with a few plants, well decorated, you know, just your average sort of tank. That is way better than pretty much every filter that I've taken a look at in this series. I think the two that would come closest is probably the Eheim Pro 3 1200XL. That one I think held 6 kilos of media so it was nowhere near what this one held. You had to take the full head off to get to the pre-filter. Um, it pumped nowhere near as much water and it was made pretty much on par with this. Uh, I think the Pro 3 series was the last good series from Eheim. Again, that's my personal opinion. It's not shared by everybody. The other filter which it would be similar to as far as the capacity goes would be the Eheim 1500XL. I'm pretty sure we got about 11 kilos into that thing, but that was just like a big old drum. You know, it didn't it didn't have these features. It, it you know, it was almost like made of Bakelite or something. It was, it was that old. This one is made with modern materials. Uh, the pump's much more efficient. It's variable. Two inlets, two outlets. It's got wheels on it. Uh, actually, the 1200XL from Eheim also had wheels on it, which I liked. Um, as far as things that are popular now go, I would imagine that this one's main competition would be from Fluval's FX6. The FX6 is actually more expensive than this, believe it or not. It holds half as much media, it doesn't pump anywhere near as much water, and it's a real bind to get into to clean out. It's a proper fart on to get into that. It, to me, it looks like Aqua L have taken a look at what other people have put out on the market, used their own experience from their own filters that they've been building up over the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years or so within the aquarium market, 
and have produced this, which is most definitely the pinnacle of their achievements. And I'm not just saying that because they sent me this for free. I did agree to it on the proviso that I could give it away. So yeah, I'm getting this for free. It's costing me 10 kilos of media to send it out to you guys. <laughs> I wouldn't call that free. Uh, you know, that's the crazy thing about my channel. It's, it is, or at least at some point, it was quite a popular channel. And I've got to be the only person who's got, you know, over 50, 60,000 subscribers who actually costs to make videos. Everybody else seems to get paid to make videos. I must be doing something wrong. Or maybe I'm doing something right for my car. Video, this filter was on sale in a few European countries and I think maybe also in Ireland from one place. Uh, no, I tell a lie. Actually, there was one place in the UK doing it as well. Um, it could have been... Uh, I might get this wrong. It could have been finest. Links to wherever you can get it currently at the time of making this video in the video description and also in the pinned comment so you can check it out. Would I advise that you buy one of these things? 100% because I haven't run it though. Bear that in mind. I have not ran this filter. Please, anybody watching this, if you have ran the filter, put your reports in the comment section. And as you should know by now, I do not edit or delete people's comments on the filter videos because I think it's very important to get proper feedback from people. I mean, obviously, if you, if you get a crap comment from a, a channel that's just been abusive and was only set up yesterday, you kind of know that they're just trolling you, you know? But for genuine people commenting on videos, it's so important that that feedback of your experience with any particular filter, including this one, is shared in the comment sections. That comment section is way more important than anything I see because I'm just saying what I'm saying. I haven't ran this thing for six months to a year, two years, and I can't give a report on how it actually functions. Other people can. I'll tell you what I see, and before me, I see an excellent filter, which I can't really see any faults with. And I have been looking. I would like to point out faults because I think that's also important as well, you know, where improvements could be made, and I think they've got this one absolutely bang on. I want to see this available all over the UK and all over the US. I want to see it really take on the establishment as far as the big boys go, your Eheims and now your Oasis. Uh, they deserve it. This is good. Very good. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you in the video is these... That's what draws the water out of the tank. And you can put a bit of thick foam over there if you want a pre-filter. -pre or you can do what I've done, which is just to put... I can't really see that against my black top. But you could just do that. Just stick a bit of knobbly foam in there. Very handy that they come apart like that. So if you wanted a pre-pre-filter, that's an option for you. Now, as far as other companies trying to make something better than this, I'll predict now that I think the next manufacturer to make something as good, possibly better, if they can, than this filter would probably be Fluval. Their FX range of filters has been out for a long time. And as I mentioned before, it's a right fart on trying to get into those they're quite clunky and cumbersome. Um, and I think they do some sort of remodel or new model of filters for big tanks. Don't bother with the little farty ones as that market is absolutely oversaturated to hell. That market's drowned itself. <laughs> big tanks is where it's at as far as new filter designs go. And that is really because of the fact that, as a hobby, aquarium keeping is in huge decline because of the cost of living, the cost of electric, and the fact that people are just working more and more hours of the day. You need to really look after a tank for it to stay looking beautiful. Obviously the filter helps. The better the filter, 
the better the tank's going to look and the less maintenance it's going to take. If you have an easy maintenance thing like this, it's going to be a lot less work. But big tanks tend to be either put in by people who are absolutely obsessed and addicted to the hobby, or they tend to be put in by people with money. So big filters is definitely where we're going to see the next innovation, as far as I'm concerned. I'm concerned this one is top of the pile currently. Uh, and I would love to see somebody try and beat any of the features on this. It's just, from what I can see, fantastic. And remember, I will be giving this very filter away, totally unused, full of media for one of you guys in the UK. Let, let me just say that, in the UK before Christmas. And the reason I say in the UK is because this would probably cost me the best part of a hundred quid to send out to America or some far-flung corner of the world. Uh, I mean, there's already the value of the filter and there's already the value of the filter media inside it. So the combined cost of or value of that giveaway prize will be over, uh, what will it be, over 450 quid pounds maybe or thereabouts my maths is terrible but at the time of making this video I think this was about 300 euros or roughly 280 English pounds from one of the suppliers I saw I'd, I've put the links in the video description check them out thanks very much I've slavered on a little bit in this video but I never planned what I'm gonna say I like to keep everything authentic and true to life nobody pays me to make any videos and I hope that some of you guys out there appreciate that because when you have any sort of online presence, you get offers all the time for people wanting to pay you to feature products or pay you to say certain things in the videos and I just won't. I turn them all down. I don't mind taking products to take a look at if it's something that I would genuinely use myself or if it's something that I can give away. Uh, and if I had a, an aquarium that would warrant something the size of this, I'd absolutely use this myself. But I'd rather give it away, you know. You guys have stuck with me, a lot of you, through God knows how many videos. Probably is over a thousand, so the least I can do is pay one of you back. There's also going to be other stuff given away at Christmas anyway. No more. Can we stop talking? Stop talking! Editing this is going to be terrible because I've gone on for so long. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.